Hi friends, this is a detailed video which will explain you how to apply for the online diploma in machine learning and AI which is a UGC approved diploma conducted by Applied Roots in collaboration with University of Hyderabad. So first and foremost, you can go to our homepage, which is appliedroots.com. As you can see here, it is appliedroots.com, which is like a parent website where all of our courses are listed, right? So all the courses that we offer currently. So now in, in this homepage itself, if you just scroll down, you'll get this, this banner, which talks about the online diploma. To know more about this, you can just click on no more here. So if you see this button here, you can just click on this button no more, which will take you to a dedicated page for the online diploma program itself. Now, when you click on it, it will take you to this page. This page itself reads appliedroots.com front slash diploma. Now, this page has all the details about the program, how it works and all these details. You can check out all the details on this web page itself. Now, to apply, first and foremost, you will have to register. Now, to register, you can just go to on the home page itself at the top right you'll see this register button so please click on this you're just registering for the applied roots web page so please click on this button here and fill in your full name your valid email address and mobile phone number and just create a password now the please try to enter valid email address and mobile phone number because all communication related to this application will be shared with you on this email address and mobile phone number now, once you register, you can always go here, click on login, and just like any other website, you can log into Applied Roots. Once you log in and come back to Applied Roots, the page looks like this. If you notice, you have this thing called My Account and Logout. This shows that you have already logged in to Applied Roots. Once you have logged in, you can now start your application process. You can just click on this Apply Now button, which will take you to a dedicated application page itself. Now, on this application page, you will have lots of details that you have to provide. Let's go step by step. Anywhere when you're when you're in the process of application, if you're stuck or if you have any questions, please reach out to us on these phone numbers or email us on this email address. Throughout this whole process of applying or understanding this online diploma program, if you have any questions, we always have dedicated phone numbers and email address that will help you understand. I mean, that will help you talk to somebody, right? Who can help you understand any any doubts that you might have and clarify them also cool so okay so let's see how to fill this application form the application number is auto filled the application date and time are auto filled the course name is also auto filled next you need to provide personal details you need to provide your name as it appears in your 10th class or matriculation certificate in capital letters please provide your parents details also provide accurate permanent address and address for correspondence because all physical copies of your degree, the actual diploma itself, and all your mark sheets will be shared to this permanent address and address for correspondence. So please provide accurate details. Similarly, you will be asked to provide your mobile or phone number, your valid email address, date of birth, gender, nationality, etc. This is all personal information which will help you, which will help us verify your credentials. And equally importantly, it will give us contact information to approach you in case of any issues with the application itself or to inform you of the application decision. Now, the rest of the details that you need to provide would be your education details, your 10th class or SSC examination, the board of examination, the year of passing, the maximum marks that can be obtained under this board and the marks that you obtained. Again, you can click on this button and upload the certificate itself, the actual certificate. You can take a scanned copy or you can take a clearly visible photo of your 10th class or SSC or equivalent certificate and upload it here. Again, if this certificate is not readily available, you can fill in all the details and you can upload the certificate at a later time. But your application will not be considered complete unless you add all the certificates because the university verifies these certificates before they roll out an admission offer letter. And very, very importantly, the university has an application fee of 300 rupees, which is non-refundable. This 300 rupees application fee is to be paid to University of Hyderabad. I'll just show you how to do that. And this fee is charged to facilitate verification of all of your academic, all of your academic certificates 
and to shortlist candidates. This fee, I'll show you how to pay to University of Hyderabad through their payment portal in just a few minutes. Cool. So after you fill in your details about 10th class, you will have to fill in details about your 12th class or equivalent. Some of you may be polytechnical students or some of you may have intermediate education, whatever it's called uh, uh, in your in your state or in your territory, you can just fill in the details. This is this is 10th class or equivalent. This is 12th class or equivalent. Then there is a graduation certificate, right? So please fill in these details accurately because they'll all be verified by the University of Hyderabad and please upload your certificates. If they're not readily available right away, first fill the whole application form itself and then in a day or two, you can upload the certificates. Similarly, if you already have work experience because this course is designed in such a way that it is also accessible and it's also, it's also a course that is targeted towards working professionals who can comfortably take this course in parallel to their work experience. So while they're working, they can take this diploma course and successfully transition to careers in machine learning and AI. So please fill in your details. All the all of your work experience, you can just fill in all the details here. If you want to add new rows here, you can add it. At the same time, please upload a passport size photograph here so that we can verify all the details and we can roll out the offer. So it is, it is legally binding for us to have all these details which we will verify or which the University of Hyderabad will verify before admission letters are rolled out. Please remember, it's very, very important for you to agree that all the information that you are furnishing here, all the information is accurate. At any point, if there is any discrepancy found in your application, if there are any fake degrees or if there is any error that is found at a later point, you will be completely disqualified from the program. Right. So again, if there is any wrong or misleading or incorrect information, the University of Hyderabad can nullify the diploma itself. So please make sure all this information is filled in as accurately as possible and you furnish all the certificates which the university can verify. Now, once you do this, you will just have to click the register button. So as soon as you click the register button, it will take you to a payment gateway page. This is a payment gateway portal of State Bank of India, which is the banker for University of Hyderabad. So as soon as you go here, you just click on, I have read and accepted the terms and click on proceed. So now when you click on the proceed button, it will open a page like this. So now on this page, you have to select the appropriate payment category and then you have to just proceed with the payment. So if you just click on this, you'll see two things. So one is distance education, certification, verification fee, and the other one is distance education fee, other. Just click on the other fee. So the moment you click on this, it will open up a new page in which you have to just fill in your details. Now let me just explain how to fill each of the fields in this form. Since you are a new student, you have an application number when you started filling in the application. Please put in the same application number here. So this field needs to be filled. Because you're not an existing student, you will not have an enrollment number. So just skip this. You don't need to fill this. Then name of the student. Whatever name you've given in the application form, please fill the same name. In the name of the course, just say Diplomo in AI and ML. That is the name of the program, right? So just type in Diplomo in AI and ML. Now it says, what is the type of the fee that you want to choose? So if you click on this, there are a lot of types of fee. Just choose any other fee. Just say any other fee. Put in your date of birth and in the fee, just mention 300 rupees here. You can also add in the remarks. You can also say this is application fee for the diploma in AI and ML. You can mention that, but it's understood because it is 300 rupees. It is the application fee itself. Once you fill in all, once you fill in all these details, you just have to fill in other personal information about yourself, like name, date of birth, mobile number, email ID, and a capture. Once you fill in, you submit it. This will take you through a payment gateway where you can pay the registration fees or the application fees of 300 rupees for the diploma in AI and machine learning. At the end of it, you will get a confirmation page. Please take a screenshot of that page and please send it to us via email. So the way it works here is as soon as you as soon as you apply through this, right, you will get an email from Applied Route saying your application has been submitted. So after you complete the payment, 
in the portal provided by SBI for University of Hyderabad. You will get a confirmation. Just take a screenshot of it and send us via email. Since you will get a confirmation email from appliedroots.com, just reply to that with a screenshot of the confirmation payment. That way, there will be no confusion and your whole application now will be processed by University of Hyderabad and shortlisting will be done and the final admission letter itself will be sent to you via email. I hope this clarifies and helps you understand how to apply for the online diploma program. And if you have any questions at any point, if you have any questions at any point, please reach out to us via these phone numbers or via this email address and we will try and clarify your questions as quickly as possible.